What's up kids, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing the new Roblox update. I know the update came out a few days ago, I'm quite late to all of this, but I really want to say a few things about this update. First of all, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers! In a few days I'll do a face reveal. Going back to the video, my favorite feature so far in this update is the additional information on all of the kingdoms. I think it's cool you can finally customize your flags and stuff. And usually whenever I start a new kingdom, something I do, I make the king very overpowered by using the trait mod. Let me tell you, I'm not satisfied with this trade editor. What do you mean I had to unlock all these things? I was able to get them all for free beforehand. Now it just adds extra work on my bot. But to be honest, then you have other features like this one. You can make these guys start a war with each other, and you'll see their army come towards them, which is super cool. I'll just make the time go a little bit faster so we get to experience this. Also, something I want to mention, let's go to the debug menu for a second. I love the way they made this quite user-friendly, and they added so many new cool features. Let's just say you're trying to speedrun a map with a bunch of civilization. You have city fast construction, city fast upgrades, city infinite resources. That's very handy. And also, I forgot to mention this. I love the new map generation. You can see all of the divisions attacking and, and stuff. You can see them claiming all of this land until they get annexed. It's just so cool. I know Hearts of Iron 4 exists, but usually I just favorize. I'm biased towards one kingdom, and I practically play as them. I, I just really like the warfare in this game. And also, I love all of the pre sets. I won't be going through all of them, but they're very cool in my opinion. Okay guys, I'm going to be honest, my PC is good. I have a high-end PC, and I was hoping for a map size above Iceberg. But we didn't get it, I'm not going to cry about it. Hopefully in the future we'll get another one, I know there are probably some mods for this, so I shouldn't be complaining too much. It's not, I'm not really complaining, I'm just pointing it out. I just love these new maps. Like, I'm going to be honest, if I got this as a poster, I will be satisfied. Of course, I will get into the new binds and stuff, but this is so beautiful compared to the things we had before. I love the new mountains and the lake. Just look, look at this goddamn lake. I love it. I truly love it. I don't believe they added any new animals you can spawn in. And this is the part I like. We have the new desert biome. I love this biome. We have a good example of it here. But... Whoa, like, okay, I'm going to be honest, whenever I make my maps, even though I'm not the greatest map maker of all time, I sort of aim for a realistic map. And of course, th this looks pretty realistic in my opinion. Or somebody told me this is a map of an actual place, I'll probably believe them. But I'm talking about the biomes here. Like, I don't really see myself using the candy biome. Of course, it's cool, it's a cool feature. Unfortunately, Adventure Time wasn't the show of my childhood. But yeah, it looks cool, everything in it works. But yeah, I don't see myself using this. The same with the lemon biome. Even though the lemon biome does have other very nice grass texture, but I just don't really see myself using it. The crystal biome follows the same route, it looks cool, everything in it works, but yeah, do I see myself using this? Probably not. But I really believe all the new kingdom features make up for it. Also now you can spawn in adamantine, mitral, silver, that's very useful, and you can spawn them in like this. Even though most people won't be using this, but sometimes when I want to experiment or something, like I used to have to spawn in every single ore individually, which is sort of annoying, but now I'm gonna just spam them, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, they didn't add any new ways to terrorize people. I think the meteor has changed, but I'm not sure. I'll try to use some of the new world laws. I know I may have missed out a few things in this update, but I'll be going through the main parts. Alright, the kingdoms should quickly develop now. Yeah, I love it. And also, also, I believe the roads have changed, because before, we used to have a bunch of houses, then random footpaths, which led to nothing. In my opinion, it looked quite ugly, but now everything makes sense. Also, something which sort of bothers me, whenever I click on a kingdom, we see these going up from zero. It's not a big complaint, but sort of, you know, I prefer to instantly have the correct number here. I'm going to be honest, I'm waiting for the new version of this mod. I'm not satisfied by the trade editor. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure the mobile players aren't either because they have to buy premium, apparently. Even though I do understand, I know I make videos, so I sort of have like a creator's point of view on this. It makes sense. Especially with the war going on, etc. I think it's important to support the creators of the game. Wait, I just realized something. <laughs> if a meteor lands, does it drop a bunch of adamantine? How's it called? It does. That's cool. That's actually quite cool. It wouldn't be world box without a war. Come on. I'll make all of the countries go to war with each other. Do we have a good fight anywhere? Oh yeah, here we see there's a fight. That's so cool in my opinion. Also, we have a conflict here, I believe. If I'm supposed to review this update out of 100%, a strong 85. Because I'm, I'm really glad the creators did this. 
all of the new features like telling us where the battles are, where, where all of the units are targeting the enemy. I think all of them are very useful features. My only letdown are the new biomes. I, I like the arcane desert. That's, that's something I really like, because people used to just use sand to create deserts, but now you can actually make a good desert biome. But as I said, candy seeds, crystal seeds, le le lemon seeds, I just don't see myself ever using these. I know that's only my opinion, you guys may love it. And I'm going to be honest, there might be a time where I'm actually going to be using the these, but as of now, I just don't see it happening. Please let me know what you guys think about the new update. I hope you kids enjoyed. Goodbye. Thank you again for 1k.